Get in, let's go. Soft, 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 okay, okay, so what? She wanna ride with the damn boss. boss. Free head back when I take off. These killer watts play soft, 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 okay, okay, so what? She wants to ride with the clout, then opens her mouth. Plus she... What's going on, guys? About 7.30 in the morning here in Greta, and um, I went up to some extracurricular activities last night. <laughs> I've had about three hours sleep, so always, you know, a really good, smart thing to do before a competition weekend is to go and uh, do extracurricular, extracurricular activities. <laughs> Caracular. <laughs> anyway, we're on our way to Gunnedah. We've got the last, it's the final round of the New South Wales Hill Climb Championship. Last race that I'm doing in the laser in the hill climb ever. So, on our way, currently I've got Drew behind me, which you won't be able to see because the window is iced out. But I've, uh, I'm meeting up with Peter Akers and Nathan Apps in Singleton. So that'll be our first stop. And then as far as I know, it's all systems go to Gunnedah. So, uh, let's go. Let's hope that the little laser has one last trip in her. Because, uh, once this one's over, she's retired. I'll still do Karna Cross in it, but no more hill climbs. It's just not fast enough, it's not competitive, and it's just getting old and tired. But um, see what happens. We might try and uh, get the motor out of it, and give a bit of a birthday. But that's another day. Today, we've just got to get there and do practice and all the fun stuff we're gonna to do today, followed by competition tomorrow, and then the long drive home, so. Don't let me down, old girl. Let's go. A few moments later. Morning, Nathan. Hey, Jase. How are you, mate? How are you, mate? Ready for a big weekend? Always. This is Drew. Hey, Drew. Nathan. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. You saw it? Pretty good. I'm tired, man. Three hours sleep. Oh, right, eh? <laughs> yeah. What, work or just stress? Ah. Uh, oh, Mexico. Ready. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go off the flight. Oh, where's Peter? He just messaged me. He's on the other side of Singleton. Oh, sweet. He won't be far away. Excellent. Now we've just pulled out of the servo, so Peter's with us now. There you go. You can see Drew behind us now. There he is. Ah, next stop, Gunnada. I don't think we're stopping at all. Oh. Hating life right now, it's not enough sleep. This this big man, you gotta sleep. Anyway, let's go. One eternity later. So we've made it to Gunnada. Nathan found us a spot to stop and have something to eat. We've just gone and had a pie and a sausage roll and whatnot. Now we're heading up the mountain, Mount Porcupine, and we'll follow Nathan. Oh, we're up the mountain, it's all hands on deck. Found myself a pit crew. How good is that? We've done our driver's briefing for our practice run and uh, we're going to practice. So I'm going to put long sleeves on, put a helmet on and I'm going to go have a couple of practice runs. Let's go. Alrighty. First practice. Been waiting for about an hour to uh, get here, so here we are. Can't get my harness on, so I'm just running the seatbelt. I don't know what's going on. I must be sitting on it or it's in the door or something. I don't know, but 
It's only practice, so I'll just chuck my seatbelt on. Road registered car, so I don't actually need a harness. But yeah, let's let's see how we go. to do the second run of my practice I think at this point I only want to do two runs today um, I'd rather yeah, do two runs learn the track and um, yeah, I'll learn it a bit more tomorrow in competition like I said there's no timing today so with no timing I don't know if I'm improving I don't know I don't know what's going on so just learn the layout which is pretty straightforward and go from there so yeah probably just go up do this one and then call it a day put the car away get ready for competition tomorrow that'll do for today so uh, not like I need to learn the layout because there is no layout that's pretty simple pretty straightforward but uh, now that Drew's climbed the hill <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get the drone in the air well no sorry I'm not gonna get the drone in the air Drew's gonna get the drone in the air yeah after climbing the walking track <laughs> yeah apparently got stitched up don't worry me any I didn't have to do it <laughs> drive up the hill <laughs> Anyway, Drew, get the drone out. Here we are in Gundar for the final round of the New South Wales Hill Climb Championship. Some have come from near and others from afar with race cars on trailers and some were driven here. Now, Porcupine, look out. Is our race track today closed by the council so we can all come here and play? New South Wales Hill Climb Championship has been a great series to race. It's been great fun to drive a race car all over the states. Bathurst was awesome, Colleen was great, that Pimsy was great. Brampton, I caught up with Mesa, but has an awesome track. Greenwood is my local and I love that. Gun up for the final round, you need horsepower. I don't have much, but I'm giving it a crack. This round has by far the best view. Doesn't matter where you look, it's all beautiful. The track itself is a public road Closed off for the weekend so we can unload All the stress of life goes away When the race car comes out to play Young and old, we're all gonna have a great day New South Wales Hill Climb Championship Has been a great 
Good job, Drew. You did good. Good footage. Oh. Hey. So, Drew just showed from the uh, start line all the way down there and flew it all the way up and then through the pits and back to here. And nobody yelled at him, so that's a plus. <laughs> He's going to yell at me. When you got me beside you, big scary Jace. <laughs> oh, I think I'm the one that's scared of, clearly. No. I'm scared that break, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go for a wander around the pits and actually have a bit of a look at some cars. One of the fastest in it. I heard it's going to be the fastest of the rally cars today <laughs> or tomorrow. I hope so. You know, going to beat Peter or what? No, he's unrestricted. Oh, he's cheating. He's not a real rally car. Yeah. Are you taking pictures? That's all right. I'm going to um, I'm going to I'm going to let the sump plug off Nathan's car so that I win tomorrow. <laughs> Prob oh, yeah, no, I probably would. I was going to say, I'd probably still... Yeah, I'll have to do the sump plug on your car too. Sump plug on everyone's cars. He's come up here tomorrow and no one's cars will be going. Just the laser. <laughs> Mine's going back to a secret, secret rotation. You even run a spare when you race. Well, you, no, you're putting it all back in now, I see. I see. I'm going back to my house. Ah, oh, very good. Don't you run your jack in your spare? Nope. That's not a real car, it doesn't have a roof. No roof, no real car, hey? <laughs> and it didn't get driven here either. I love how it's got a rear vision mirror. It's also got turn signals. I think it's got to have them by the, for the class. It's probably the only car that gets driven here, you know, Jason. Oh, one of them. <laughs> hey, I'll be the only person to drive their car to every event this year. Oh, actually, Les. Hey? I don't drive here, I don't get my bedroom. <laughs> now this one's been driven to every event as far as I know. Pretty sure he's driven to every event. Pretty sure. 99% sure. I think he's almost as cool as me. Nah, he's a little bit cooler. His car's definitely cool, that's for sure. Oh, well, if I'm walking around showing cars, might as well show me own. There you go. There she is. What else we got? I'm a bit confused as to how someone's done this what do you reckon Drew how do you do that a uh, bit of jandle and some skill bit of jandle and some skill 
Yeah, I don't know about that. Do agree to disagree on that one. How about these things? What have we got over here? Oh, he's in his undies. Oh, look out. <laughs> I gotcha. In your undies, mate. I'm around in my undies already. <laughs> Hasn't even had a beer yet. No. Uh, it's at the motel already in the fridge. Yeah, uh, good stuff, good stuff. Where you going, Michael? Sorry? Where you going, Michael? Um, just over there. Oh, you're running? Yeah, I'm running. I had two goes, that'll do for me. That's it. What's going on with this one? A few problems with it. Uh, clogged fuel source. Oh, that's no good. That's all. I better get in and drive it, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, well, good luck. Oh, yeah. Well, let's have a quick look at this while it's running. Making all the cool noises. Just having a look, all right. No, I had one of these years ago. Wasn't as fast as yours. It's not fast. <laughs> yeah, it still wasn't as fast as yours. <laughs> oh, I'd have to lose them R2. I'll, I'll come back and chat to you. I haven't had one of these though. I wish I did. This thing's cool. What have you done to it, mate? You've broken it. Ah, yeah, I've got a bloody um, leak in a pipe up here. Leak in a pipe? Was it 3SGDE? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Well done, you know your stuff. Oh, I'll try to. <laughs> Are we allowed to have one more? Line up right now? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I love this. He's even got the sex spec interior. That's correct, yep. Yeah. Straight out of the 2000s. Wide body. The paint the job. Yeah, well, it's turbo, bro. That's where it comes down through there and up and into there. And yeah, no, used to see some of these and they'd have the scoop on top. Yeah. Straight in. That's cool. Oh. Go over and have a look at Big Willie's car. It's pretty cool. I've been following all these adventures, racing up in Queensland. And all over the place, super sprints and whatnot. Oh. Yeah, very cool. I missed this one before when I was walking over because I got excited about V8 Commodores. Let's have a quick look at this as it comes out. for a wander over here and see all these Wollongong boys have a little look -sies. Alex's car they all the, well it's not all Wollongong boys as James is over here too he's not from Wollongong let's have a little look -sies. I have to ask him if I can sit in this. I want to see if I fit. I know you'd fit, but I don't think I would. <laughs> I don't think it's happening. I know I fit in this one. I've sat in that. It's my laser brother. Nothing 
nothing to see there, is there? There you go, his door's open, so we'll creep it open a bit. Oh yeah, it's all the secret sauce. Look at how low his seat is. Really cool. All right, leave the door right where it was and he won't even know he's there. He's, oh, I'm not touching your car, I'm not touching it. <laughs> oh. Subi. What do you want me to do, jump in your car? I was just saying, I said, I wonder if I'd fit into Greg's car. I don't think I would, eh? <laughs> I reckon you would, but you're free to be willing to I don't think I'd fit in it. Oh, you want me to get in? All right, I'll get in. I'll get in. All right, I'll get in. Oh, love how low you sit in this. It's unreal. Full of headroom. On the sweat. Sweating because I'm a little bit excited. Don't zoom down. I might have a bit of a chub, you know. <laughs> yeah, close the door. Give me some privacy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, excellent. All right, Drew, hold this. This is the hard part. I've got to get back out. Oh. Throw a right hand out, right leg. Oh, yeah. Not that different to getting out of mine, I suppose. Yeah, but you've got a stack out there than yours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at all the sauce. I've said it before, I'll say it again. One day, you're gonna leave this here at a hill climb and then you're gonna come back and it's gonna have a 1.8 single overhead cam in there. I'll swap them out overnight. <laughs> <laughs> this is what my car needs. We need to make it happen. We need one of these motors in mine. All the power. <laughs> All right, bye Dave, I'm gonna keep walking. Play a little trick here and pull this out and when he when he tries to start his car he wouldn't know why it wouldn't start <laughs> not that nasty though little beastie this car does quite well for what it is it's faster than my car which is not hard Got it out in here, James. I like it. They're good chips, mate. Mm. <laughs> oh. well, let's chuck these bits and pieces in the car, lock mine up, go check into the hotel. This day is done. A few moments later. Oh, we've got a pool. So this is supposed to be the most flashiest bloody hotel in Graf in Gunnada. We've got to go check in. I don't know what room we are or anything, so just choose one. <laughs> yeah, this one will do. There you go, we're 29. What do you reckon, Drew? Most expensive hotel and room in uh Gunnada. What do you reckon? Two towns over and going <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what? I've had three hours sleep last night, so I really don't care. Oh well, there we go. The bathroom, back door goes out like a smoker's area. But yeah, this is it. We've got a pool, but let's go for a swim. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Uh, we're going out for dinner shortly. We're all, uh, all going to the pub. Everyone from the Hill Climb Championship to come out here. Well, almost everyone. Going to the pub, so we'll go for dinner and uh, see you guys in the morning. Well, here we are, Sunday. Time to go racing. Now look at this, this could really ruin someone's day. <laughs> Like it nearly ruined mine, I nearly walked straight into it. But yeah, we're uh, sunny out here. 
we're cutting it fine, it's nearly eight o'clock and we're gonna get up to the track. The hotel's only three minutes away from the, uh, the racetrack, luckily, but look at the day on it. Why well, have you got a jumper on? That's not freezing. Anyway, let's go. We're gonna. You want some Macca's coffee? I hear. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't have Macca's. I don't have coffee either. But I think everything's out of the room. Let's go racing. I couldn't fit my water bottle under the tap in the uh, hotel. The Macca's are filling it up for me. <laughs> Alright, we've arrived. It is really cold up here too. Yeah. How'd you guys go last night? Camping. <laughs> there you are. These are the guards I hired to look after the laser for the night. <laughs> when I say hired, don't ask for money, I haven't got any. <laughs> yeah, nah, too late, eh? <laughs> uh, You're broke! You're f Ah, good job fellas, good job. Oh, it is very cold up here this morning. Not like down in town was actually quite nice. Good view up here too. A few more competitors have rolled in this morning as well, so I'll have to go for a bit of a wander around, add them to the video. Yeah, let's go, I'm pumped. So I left my car at the uh, lookout last night and you know, I was still pretty sure it was some bad karma coming from dumb things I did when I was a teenager. So I wasn't 100% sure whether or not someone would try and break into it, but uh, the anti-theft device here <laughs> took the steering wheel with me. So we'll get this opened up. Yeah. There we go, I'm gonna drive my car again, but I'm just gonna sit that there because I'm too fat to get in and out of it with the steering wheel on. I'll put that in the ignition so I don't lose it. Wind that down. I'm actually gonna fill out my logbook right now while it's hot on my mind, otherwise I'll forget. And if I get pulled over, I'm unregistered, we don't want that. Hey. Flash tools, mate, flash tools. Imagine if somebody messed them up. Oh no, oh no. What do you reckon? Hey, nice beanie, mate. Can I have a look at that? Yeah, hey. That's a warm. Hey, that's it. That's the one. Hey, I've got that same toolkit. It's pretty good, eh? It is when you have the foam in it so it doesn't fall everywhere. Yeah, mine, mine looks a lot better than that. Yeah. <laughs> Morning. Everything is done, and uh, I don't know how they forget me. I'm not the prettiest guy here, but they've left me off the run sheet. And oh, there we go, it's a bit better. No, it's not. There we go. I was right myself in there at the bottom, so I'm on the run sheet. Let's go racing. Well, here we go. First run on the well, first run of competition. Yeah, wow. Uh, big Wheels told me I've got to go behind him. And he's going to send it. He's going to do a big skid. His tyres just about done, so he wants to send them off in style. So let's hope that uh, let's hope the GoPro in the car picks that up real nice. And yeah, basically strategy is just sort of go for broke, get out there and, and send it. 
Um, it's not a real technical track by any means. There's not really much to remember. So I'll just go out there and have a crack and hopefully my times will improve throughout the day. Uh, this track, you need horsepower for this track. This is not gonna be a fast run in this car. I would not honestly be surprised if I come dead last in competition. Um, I'm gonna just say it, no fault of my own. Just, I don't have a fast car. Anyway, we had have fun, let's have fun. Last round of uh, New South Wales Hill Climb Championship, so keen to get out there and have a go. Send it for the kids. slip off the uh, from second uh, first in a second so I'll try not to do that again that was no good now, I've been re needing to replace the clutch in this for a while I think uh, I probably should have already done it but oh well well that was it oh big Dave Hey, hey! Laser brother! So yeah, we're, I'm not going to be able to get a whole lot of footage. I've got um, Ben. I've got Drew on the hill. I think he's somewhere near the chicane. No, he's not. He's near the hairpin. He's going to get the. He's going to get some footage on the DSLR. And um, I've got another friend, Reese. He's here as well, so he's going to get some footage on his phone. I'll cut them in and hopefully they'll look alright. But yeah, I'd say this is all going to sort of go fairly quickly. The way they're running us. Like, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get the drone out today or anything, but we'll see what happens. Here we go. Hey. Suzuki Bandit 1200 power buggy. Oh, I had a Suzuki Bandit 1200. It might have been a 1250 mine, I can't remember. I had that many bikes and cars, I tend to you know forget what i've actually owned but um the thing was a weapon i just couldn't keep the front wheel on the ground so i can only imagine how fast that little clubman is with that motor in it but yeah anyway i'll have a quick wander around and uh here you go look peter acres has got his bonnet up let's see some secret sauce under there what's he what's he got his wrap les's little car this is cool very fast car let's see what makes peter's car so fast one of those big shiny things with a lot of tubes and curly coils coming out of it with a red doohickey and Vin he's got one of those fancy thingamajiggers relatively stock inside he's got a race seat and that's about it I think still runs a back seat and everything in this car Yeah, very fast car, very, very, I quite like this car. 
quite like this car too. Also road registered. So that's the thing with this type of racing. I mean, you can have a road registered car that's relatively standard and, you know, whether it's a fast car or a slow car. I mean, look at Nathan's car. It's completely bog stock. He's got semi-slicks on his standard wheels. That's it. You know, what a, what a base. What a great car to start racing with. I mean, this, is, this, is, this wins most of the, the events for the standard car class or for the under two and a half litre class, I should say, anyway. It's bog stock. It's just got some semi-slicks. Hey, come on, I've heard about polishing turds. Uh, I mean, I need to see out the windscreen, don't I? <laughs> I'm trying, but it's not much different. What do you got done to this? This is fairly standard, isn't it? Coilovers, button clutch, light and flywheel, some upgrade engine mounts, that's it. Excellent. What are you in it for? Fun. No, like how much, oh. you reckon? A couple of grand? Car was what? 1,200, I think all up parts were five. Yep. But maintenance has cost another five on top of that. because 100 or 1,000? 1,000. 5,000. Okay, yeah. so you, so you, what, you... About uh, 10 into it all up over So you got about years. 10 grand into the car over four years. Yeah. That's unreal. That's awesome. And it's been running for those four years too. And it's been a fun and competitive car? The whole time. Excellent. That's what we want to hear. So this, this is Alex, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be on YouTube, Alex. Oh, I thought that was going to happen at some point this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I didn't ask you whether you wanted to be or not. I'm just, it's just, I'm just forcing you, mate. Oh, well, <laughs> Uh... Uh, well, have a quick look at a few other things while we can just trying to get these videos interesting you know like I want to try and get everybody in them I, I really want to try and have as much race footage in them as I can because I mean obviously that's why we're here we're here racing but yeah just try and get everyone as involved in it as I can I mean this is the last of the of this championship so this is the last event so there's really not going to be a whole lot of racing stuff after this probably just be more doing car shows and stuff I've got a few car crosses and whatnot but really not a lot to do even some of the trailer setups are great full and closed trailers a few moments later I've just had a look at the board. First run, 41.57. So I'm beating one competitor. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't be competitive in this car. Somebody's got to come last, so it's all good. But it's not me. <laughs> uh, I'm beating one person. That's I'm, I'm just going to take it. I'll win. Just, that's only the first run. So they could, they could end up surpassing me by miles. You just never know. But that's all right. I don't care. All I'm worried about is the fact that I went and paid for food and they're having problems getting it sorted out and uh, now we're lined up again and uh, <laughs> I just want to eat. Fat guy, you know? Fat person problems. Also, uh, Big Willy says his traction control was on and that's why his burnout wasn't real impressive. I wasn't going to say anything about that. It was a pretty terrible burnout, but you know what? He reckons it's going to be good this time, so let's send it. I'm keen to see it. Let's hope it's a good one.
the the thing with this car, I've just got to try and get that, that gear change perfect, otherwise the clutch slips going first to second. But that run felt stellar. Now, I didn't leave the line quite as hard either. I've got minimal wheel spin. I really, really hope that I can have climbed a few spots there. Because there wasn't much in it. Hey, laser brother. Yeah, Big Willie got his burn out. The kids were stoked. I did the little rollback for him. It was all good. Hey. All right, run number three. So I still, I still haven't been given a time. If I remember to, I'll have already edited it into the video. But I haven't been given a time for my second run. There was a timing issue. Apparently, I'm not affected. But those that are affected will get an extra run. So, that's all good. It is what it is. But we're going for run three. Now, I can see him. You probably can't see him. But I can see him. You've got these young fellas... There, they're egging everyone on for burnouts. Katie's just done a good burnout for him. Big Willie did a good burnout for him. I'm behind James Graham. I very much doubt that he's going to do a big burnout. But um, I'm going to have to let him down. I'm not doing a big burnout this time. I've still got to drive this car home. Uh, Jeffrey Sims is just there. I'm passing him. He's got some sort of a issue. He's yet to run. The double... Um, Double entered, double entered actually, I don't think it was Jeffrey, I think it was his dad. Anyway, I didn't actually see who was driving the car just now. But anyway, I'm um, I'm not doing a big burnout for him this time. Although there is a fellow with his phone out, maybe I will. Let's see what happens. All right, I can actually see a few phones and video cameras. Maybe I'll do a burnout. Not real good at this peer group pressure thing. someone's day. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> says hopefully they got a time for what my second run was i'll know whether or not i've improved uh, from memory i think the first run was a 41.57 so I'm, I'm feeling like i'm faster than my first run anyway but until i see some numbers i won't know well we're having a lunch break camera's twisted Having a lunch break, and uh, these fellas admiring the view. What are we looking at? Enjoying the serenity. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So Nathan, how do you feel about not being the fastest in our class today? Well, I am the fastest in our class today. In the registered state hill Cause form. Because he's, he's faster, <laughs> but he's not in our class, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't be the fastest. 
whipping our butts. So how do you feel about the participation trophy? That's what it's going to be today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex is, yeah, fast. He's a ring in, he's just whipped us all. <laughs> Good job, Alex. <laughs> Don't oh. to next year. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. We'll, uh, we'll just go back to this nice view because <laughs> Nathan and Alex are about to get into it. That's how I'm trying to calm my frustration. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Hey, I'd, be, I'd be frustrated. It was like at Grafton. You missed out on Grafton. Yeah, yeah. And you had this, this one fella. No no disrespect to this guy. Unreal. Yeah, great car. Really nice drive uh, person and whatever. But he entered the state championship for one run. Yeah. <laughs> and he smoked me. <laughs> Absolutely smoked me. He's one of the fastest cars there. Uh, Errol, I think his name is. Oh, Civic. Civic? The yellow yeah. Civic? No, no, no. That's oh. um, Zach. Zach, yeah. That's no, Eric ha uh, Errol had the red Civic. Oh, uh, right. Eh? And he was in under two and a half litres road registered. And he hasn't been to another event. Not one. <laughs> that was your one chance to get it. That's my one chance to get a trophy in this win. event. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Let's look at the view before I get, you know, we'll hide yeah. the tears. You can't see me crying from here. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it running at all today, but Cole's car is absolutely beautiful. I think we're getting ready to go out again. The little blue cars up here. Clerk, of course. A couple of cars are running over here. Ready for run number run number four, I think. Yeah, run number four. Got the laser brother is over here, he's gearing up. We'll go over and we'll see him. What's going on? What's the game plan? Uh, I'm going to go down the hill and come back up. Oh, that's a good game plan. Let's see what happens. What's your best time? Um, 33.86 today. 33.86? 33.86. Second off the pace. Pull a finger out. You want me to put a finger in? Or? <laughs> now you're sitting in that race suit in that race seat. You'll be all nice and greased up, ready for it. <laughs> I'd keep this PG. Kids watch this stuff, you know. Oh, you're the one fucking doing. <laughs> Uh, mate, this this lookout's unreal, isn't it? Oh, top view, man. It doesn't matter. All the way way around. It doesn't matter which way you're looking. <laughs> North, south, or east. Or... Unless you're looking that way, wherever that is. Can't see much that way. Look, it's a green tree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now you know what you do. You get the. You get the tourists, yeah. and you got a tree like this, and you go, oh, a koala, and then you just walk away and laugh at them. Oh, that's a drop there. <laughs> They'll be there looking for ages. <laughs> Where's the koala? <laughs> yeah, you sit nice and low in there. It's good. Oh, well, good luck. Thanks, Joe. Here, I'll, I'll even grab your door for you. There you go. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. No worries. What's going on? Oh, Racing your brother's car. <laughs> what a good brother you are. <laughs> Wish I had a brother that let me race his car. <laughs> I strap this into my car, everyone's getting ready to go. This is group one, I'm group two, but only so many times I can walk around a car park and say, hey, look at these cars. Oh, I'm about to get run over. But yeah, great spot. Uh, going to the uh, Motor Enthusiast Club. Thank you for putting this on, it's been great. 
uns gar reichen. Rightio, fourth run. So I'm not 100% sure. This may or may not be my last run. The SUP reg said four official runs, so this is the four. But I have also heard rumours there could be a fifth. I've also heard rumours that the fifth may be just a bonus run. If that's the case, I'm not doing it. So this may be my final run. It may not be. I don't know just yet. We'll see. But I do know that I've just met some young kids up the top of the hill. And uh, they reckon I'm... I'm they reckon Big Willie's doing the best burnout. I'm doing the second best burnout. So you know what? I'll take that. That's pretty good. They reckon it's pretty close between me and Big Willie. So I'm going to give them a show. I'm going to do a hell of a burnout. I'm going to try to anyway. And then I'm going to do my run. And if it's our last official run, I'm going to start packing everything up. Um, at the end of the day, as much as I'd love to do another run, I'd hate to go faster on an unofficial run. <laughs> But we'll give it a crack, we'll see how we go. the kids mate day nobody did a burnout bigger not big willie not katie slingsbury nobody i win number one burnout oh i'm stoked that was awesome the kids would have loved it rubber everywhere oh it's all up the side here too oh no oh <laughs> that's a lot of rubber oh wow bitch it's pulled up in here <laughs> we got it <laughs> oh well that was a hell of a burnout <laughs> oh, things you do for the kids, hey? <laughs> I've still got to drive it home yet. <laughs> oh, 
what's this side like no not too much rubber on here i don't know this side was really spinning at all or if any it might have spun a little bit but what a way to send off the year and send off the championship hey eh? I don't know where Big Willie's hiding, but I'd hide too if a laser just did a bigger burnout than me. <laughs> yeah, seriously nice car. Very cool. We've even got the same seats. <laughs> Going good. I hope that last one was the best because I'm trying to break into the next crack, you know? Beautiful car, absolutely beautiful. Got a good trailer too. Have a go at this. That is goals. You want to buy? I can't afford this. <laughs> Twenty thousand. That's just for the shell. Twenty grand for the shell. No motor and no running gear. Jeez. Yeah, a lot of money, isn't it? A lot more than my eight hundred dollar laser. <laughs> I think this year this has probably been the, the most beautiful location we've raced. It's not my favourite track at all. It's it's you know it's a good track. Don't get me wrong, but um, it's it's probably you know. I'd say I'd say it's sort of you know probably was, of this championship it was one of the one of the lesser. Well, I mean all the tracks were good. No bad days racing. That's that's probably the best way to say this because it's not a bad track by any means. I'm not saying it's a bad track, but I'm just saying out of these all the tracks we've raced, this one you know it's it was good. It was good. I'll just leave it at that. It was good. But um, anyway, now my thing to do is to all of these onto there. Hopefully somebody will come along and help me because I'm lazy and I love it when that happens But if it doesn't that's fine. I've done it on my own many many times now But uh full-time pit crew inquire within pay no pay Might get a shirt or a sticker or something or a hat give you a hat But um, yeah, no nah, no pay but full-time pit crew. Let's go For next season because this season's over Nick Minnett Well, I did this side and then uh, we just moved the car and Drew's on to the other side. Where did him go? We went wrong about the rubber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit of rubber there. Yeah, we'll clean that or not. Trophies. I Yeah, let's stand right in the way of Peter. I'll stand in your way so you can't get on the trailer. <laughs> oh well, everyone's packing up. I've packed up my car. Peter's getting his on. Absolutely love this MR2. So if anyone at home watching, this is the old D Cups. It was the auto salon show car. I'll tell you what, it's bloody fast. <sighs> anyway, it's got terrible news. I didn't know until now. My buddy Alex, he, he crashed his car on his last run, so that's terrible. He's okay, but he's, he's going to go get checked out. <laughs> there he is over there. He's going to get the car trailer and sort his stuff out first before he goes to the hospital like a real man but um 
Yeah, terrible news. It's always one at every event. Anyway, let's watch Peter do this, see if he gets it right. Good job. Good job. You have that guy a license, he nearly ran me over. So yeah, anyway, so that's us, that's, that's the day done. I'm about to do a presentation, but given the, the car accident and everything, he's, he's had to have that sorted out first. So that's all getting done now, but uh, shortly after presentation, we'll be on the road. I'm actually packed up on time for once, which is excellent. It's so rare. <laughs> But yeah, last uh, round of the hill climb championship for the year, so cool. Get this view one more time. What a setup! It's like Duke has in the trailer later. <laughs> And they put this one on the trailer. Oh mate, send it up. Hey, see how close you were to your brother today? Yeah, pretty close. That really upset him. You should have seen his face. Set up all that for me truck. Yeah, We're getting run over. Look out, he's crazy. He's crazy. Watch this man. Actually, one of the first people packed up today, Drew. Yeah. How good's that? Usually, we're standing around at the end and everyone's left, and we're just, uh oh, we've got to go. <laughs> oh well. Remember the part where we were on track to be like out of here, like early? Yeah, <laughs> we're like the last ones to leave again. That's all right, good deed of the day. We've uh, helped our new friend load up his car. He, um, he had no idea how to do it, and that's no problem of his. It's just, uh, you know, he had to learn, he had to be taught, and we've done that, so good deeds. Let's go, we're out of here. So I saw a sign just down the road there as uh, we were turning at Corindai, and it said Silo Art. We just pulled into the service station and, um, I've asked these lovely police officers in front of us. I usually wouldn't say something like that. These lovely police officers in front of us, I said they were in the servo, and I said, hey, a silo down the road with the, the art on it. You know, is it lit up at night? And they said, yeah. And I said, is it worth going have a look? And they say, yeah. So all right, we'll go have a look. They're looking at me, I'm looking at them, I'm smiling, and they're going, uh, so where are you coming from? I mean, I'm standing next to a race car. I mean, usually I'll tell them to piss off. I don't, I don't talk to police. But um, I says, oh, I was coming back from the hill climb at Gunnedah. And they go, oh, wow, how was it? And they were like, actually really genuine people. They were really nice. So, you know, not every interaction with the police is bad, I guess. So I'm learning that as I get older. But uh, anyway, let's go and have a look at these silos. Uh, we're just going down the main street of Corindai. I'm just following signs, I haven't even put it in my maps or anything. So we're looking for these silos. That thing's pretty cool. Train station. No, arts and crafts. Yeah, it looks like it's an old, yeah it is, it's a train station. I knew it was a train station. But anyway, 
GPS is on my phone, it's going off saying, turn around, turn down this street, turn down that street. Oh, there it is there, there's the silos. All right, cool. Well, it's not lit up, they lied to us. See, told you, you can't trust the police. Let's go have a little look, he's over here. I thought it'd be lit up, that's a rip off. Oh well, let's have a look. I haven't even got a light to shine on it or anything. Yeah, Drew does that. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get out of this car now. <laughs> oh, I need two hands. So here's the thing, right? I'm fat, and if I don't take the steering wheel off, I really struggle to get out of this car. Oh, more than what I do anyway, which, oh, it's really hard. But yeah. There's our silos. That's pretty cool. Grab me phone and get a photo on there too. Oh no, just missed it. <laughs> you oh, missed it. Right, oh, look, look, look at us being tourists, oh, oh, yeah. eh? <laughs> what do you want? Because of the wife, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're being tourists, Drew. Tourists, but yeah, that's pretty cool. The uh, silo art, I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, he says. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very cool. All right, I don't know if we're going to stop again or not on the way home, but uh, yeah, silo art. Mm. What a the photo. So, yeah, put that on my story and uh, keep on trekking. So that was only a short little detour, which is cool. You know, I don't mind going a few minutes out of the way to see something cool. Even that's cool. Pub. Yeah. I literally rang Drew before while we were cruising along and I said, hey, there's this pub called Willow Tree Pub. And I've stopped there a million times in the past. I haven't been there for a few years. Would you like to stop and get dinner? And he, he literally said, dude, we just had a pie and a sausage roll and everything going out of Gunnedah at the servo. What do we need to eat again? And I'm like, yeah, well, we don't, but you know, I just want to go to that pub. And he's like, nah, man, I'm not eating. We, we can stop there if you want to, but I'm not going to eat. Oh, fine. We'll just keep on trekking. But yeah, this place is cool. Righto, bye Corindai. Well, here's the pub that I wanted to go to. That's one that I used to go to quite a bit back in the day. When I was traveling sort of between Maitland and Gunnedah. There's Willow Tree, nice little town. Not a lot going on here, there's the train station. Anyway. I won't bore you with Willow Tree, we're just going to keep on trucking and uh, we'll be home soon. One eternity later. So Drew's just rang me and he says, I'm busting, I'm busting, we need to go to the servo. <laughs> oh, let's see if he runs. Are you going to run? Is he running? <laughs> Go get some lollies, I think. <laughs> well, we've made it home. Not a lot of light in here, but uh, there you go. You can see me in the light. <laughs> um, yeah, we've made it home, Drew. Step into the light. Step into the light. He's Iron Man. Look at this. Yeah, I'm a walkie. <laughs> Mate, got Joel over at the background there. He's my neighbour. He's come out to complain, said I was too loud. <laughs> Go away, Joel. Like anyway, that. that's the championship done, over for the year. So uh, I'm tired as hell. Like I've been driving for hours. It's like pretty late at night. You have fun? Yeah, definitely do it again. Nah, next <laughs> year. Like and subscribe. Peace out. <laughs>
South Wales Hill Climb Championship. Some have come from near and others from afar with race cars on trailers and some were driven here. Now Porcupine Lookout is our racetrack today closed by the council so we can all come here and play. New South Wales Hill Climb Championship has been a great series to race. It's been great fun to drive a race car all over the states. Bathurst was awesome, Huntley was great, that Pimsy was great, Brampton I caught up with Mesa, but has an awesome track, Greenwood is my local and I love that, Guns up for the final round, you need horsepower, I don't have much, but I'm giving it a crack. This round has by far the best view, doesn't matter where you look, it's all beautiful. The track itself is a public road Closed off for the weekend so we can unload All the stress of life goes away When the race car comes out to play Young and old, we're all gonna have a great day New South Wales Hill Climb Championship Has been a great series to race It's been great fun to drive my race car All over the state Bathurst was awesome, company was way down to Everyone who's put on this great event I really wish this championship didn't have to end I can't wait to see everyone again next year I'm keen to come back with some better gear I still won't be able to beat Nathan in that Honda Civic Winning isn't everything in this championship It's all about showing up and having a great time And I can say I've never left with a frown New South Wales Hill Park Championship has been a great series to race It's been great fun to drive my race car all over the state Bathurst was awesome, Huntley was great, that Pimsy was great Brampton I caught up with Mesa Park has an awesome track Greenwood is my local and I love that Guns up for the final round, you need horsepower Doesn't matter where you look, it's all beautiful The track itself is a public road Closed off for the weekend so we can unload All the stress of life goes away When the race car comes out to play Young and old, we're all gonna have a great day New South Wales Hill Climb Championship Has been a great series to race It's been great fun to drive my race car All over the state was awesome, company was great, that Kimsey was great Last and I caught up with Mace, now my has an awesome track Greenwood is my local and I love that Gun up for the final round, you need horsepower I don't have much, but I'm giving it a crack Thank you to everyone who's 
put on this great event I really wish this championship didn't have to end I can't wait to see everyone again next year I'm keen to come back with some better gear I 